Okay, so after I thought about this a little further, um, I thought of a way to get around the idea that you can't import images into Essential Graphics. Because um, the idea is that I want my team to be able to just grab elements that we use all the time and just change them accordingly. And um, for the most part, we can get away with it because our talent is all always the same. It's just that we c they can't update things um, easily on their own and on the fly. So, um, I was thinking about how we do like faux 3D animation, 2D, and do, well, I guess 2.5D is technically what it is. And so that's kind of where I got this idea. So we've got this, um, this animation that, that was already there. And I only used it because I wanted to see if it would work rather than building something and it not work. And so the idea is, is like, what if one of our anchors wanted to say this, you know? Now, the issue is, is that they wouldn't be able to swap this photo out on their own. Um, but I could always make that green or something and so that they can key it. I don't know. I'll come to that when I get to it. Um, so anyways. Um... So we have the avatar, and all I did was just make a comp, and each picture is one frame long. And that's it. And so then you go into here, and you time remap that comp with this expression that is used all the time for 2.5D animation. Um, and then you just make a null or an adjustment layer and add a slider control to it and that's where this comes from um, and then so the same thing happens with uh, with this photo here that's also a comp that I made right here so each one of these photos I just kept with the Obama thing because that's what they used. Um, that one's actually longer. I was it was acting weird for some reason, but it's the same. It's the same concept. So this thing here also has the same um, kind of expression. And then this is the photo control for it. And then you open up Essential Graphics. And you tell it to, to solo all the supported properties, and lo and behold, you've got your text control. So here's the date, which is right here. Um, here is the name. Here is the photo control, which is right here. And then here is. Here is the avatar control, and right there. And so, and then I just edited the edited the range. There's five images, so got that. And then all you do is just export all of that stuff out um, as a motion graphics template, and it goes into the libraries which we have over here. And then they just have to open up Premiere and drag it from Essential Graphics. And then boom, all this stuff is editable. So as you can see, there's the original avatar. There's another one, there's another one. So they, they can choose which anchor they're, they're using. Um, and then they have a choice of photos as well. Now that's that's where I have an issue is because they probably obviously wouldn't want to use these photos so um, that's where the ability to upload your own and be able to manipulate it size and position wise um, like you can inside of that other comp that they made but then the text here it's all completely editable, as you can see. Uh, here we'll do this. 
So all they would have to do is just update the text and whatever. I mean, obviously I'm not going to use this for for my purposes, but you can see where this is going. And um, so that's, that's kind of what I'm after, but ideally it would be nice if um, they could swap out these photos on their own. If they could update their own, you know, upload and swap out images as they see fit. I mean, that could be like somebody that they actually found on Facebook or whatever, you know, with their message and then with the photo that they put up. I mean, whatever. Like, there's a billion different reasons why I could use something like this that's completely updatable. Um, but I think I can get by with how this thing works at the moment. So, yep, that's it.